Where should a new jail be located and how should it be paid for? Those two questions are leading to disagreement in Vico County. As Joe Wren reports, some are accusing the Terre Haute mayor of supporting the project only because he's hoping it will help his city's struggling budget. City leaders say a new jail has to be built. It's been in the works since county officials settled a 2002 jail overcrowding lawsuit with the American Civil Liberties Union. The Vigo County Council picked a spot at the former International Paper property near the school aquatic center. Some say it shouldn't be on riverfront property primed for economic development. Now there's controversy on how to fund it. Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett says he supports a 1.25% public safety tax increase that would be split between the city and county. It's not to make the budget bigger, it's to pay for existing things where we've lost money from that people want those services. Bennett says the city's portion of the funds would free up the budget to work against the $8.1 million city deficit. But Vigo County Councilman Brendan Kern says it's not up to the county to make up the city's budget shortfall. Vigo County's not broke. The city of Terre Haute is. So Vigo County made adjustments, as is as did most entities in the state of Indiana. Kern says another option the county is looking at is tacking on an additional 0.25% tax to pay just for the jail, which ends once the project is paid off.